Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel 8 Framework Tutorial. This is our partner 58. Inside this video, we will see the concept of stub customization. So before going into this video, first of all, we need to understand that is what is a stub. So back to terminal. And if I close this development server and simply run the command called PHP Artisan. So after typing PHP Artisan command, we can see that we have several different Artisan commands listed. By the help of each command, we will do any functionality inside Laravel application and even we can generate many more files. For example, by the help of make controller command, we can generate a new controller class. By the help of make factory command, we can create a new model factory. As well as here we will have several different commands to generate several different types of files. We have make migration, make model, which is going to create or generate a new eloquent model class. So do we think after typing this command, when we generate any file, the predefined file means the predefined code or let's say the skeleton of code from where it comes. For example, let's create a controller inside the application PHP artisan let's say make controller and we are going to generate employee controller simply pressing enter controller created successfully we had used the php artisan make controller command so when we back to editor reload this directory structure go inside this app http controllers and here as we can see that we have employee controller so inside this class file, we can see that this is a skeleton defined. When we create a model, the skeleton of model is something different. So inside this skeleton, we have a namespace, we have a request class imported as well as class. This is the name what we have passed inside this make command, artisan command, back to editor. Here we have extends controller and this is a bracket of this class so simply do we think from where this skeleton came in Laravel application when we generate any file let's say either it will be a migration file factory file controller model any file then we get a predefined skeleton let's create a model file php artisan let's say make model and when we type employee it's a model class name it will go and generate a new eloquent model class so if we press enter model created successfully back to editor reload this directory structure so inside this app we have a models folder Inside this models folder, we will have a file called employee.php. So inside this model file, here we have a namespace, two packages imported and it's a class for this model class. So simply, also it is a skeleton. So from where, we get a skeleton inside this Laravel application. So that is skeleton folder structure or the directory is called a stub. So when we run any artisan command to generate any of the file this command will go first inside this stub directory find the re respective or associated structure and generate our file it means inside stub we will have of means file structure or a skeleton defined for this make controller command when we will generate any controller it will go and inherit or take all the code of that skeleton when we create any model it will go and pick model stuff file from this directory and put all these codes so simply let's say that we want to do any changes at the root of the stub it means what we want if we go inside this controller this is a controller class file 
so we want when we create any controller by default one or two methods included inside this class file right now when we create any new controller this is the skeleton what we are getting but in some cases if we want that when we generate any controller we want two methods by default added inside each of the controller class file so we need to do changes inside our stub directory it means the controller file of stub so for that first of all we need to publish our stub inside this application right now inside this is inside this project setup we have app directory bootstrap config it means we don't have any stub folder so for the stub customization back to browser go inside this official website click on documentation here we have digging deeper artisan console and inside this as we can see that we have a stub customization so click on this link so here as we can see that the artisan console makes command are used to create a variety of classes if i zoom variety of classes such as controllers jobs migration and test these classes are generated using stub files it means when we create any controller any job file any migration any of the file like models factory etc so by using make artisan command we are going to use our stub directory inside this stub we have several skeleton defined of all these types so using stub files that are populated with values based on your input it means when we type controller it will go and pick our controller skeleton and create a file so however you may want to make small changes to files generated by artisan to accomplish this you may use stub publish command by the help of this command we are to generate or let's say publish our stub files so if i copy back to terminal let's say php artisan stub publish if i press enter stub published successfully so if i back to editor go and reload this directory structure so now inside this project setup we will get a setup called or let's say a directory called stubs inside this stubs directory we will have several different types of file and this is the file when we create let's say when we create a controller so behind the scene make artisan command it means make controller go inside the systems and find all about the file called controller.stub so here this is our resource controller when we generate any resource controller this is the skeleton what we will get like we will have a index method create method is to so edit update destroy these all methods by default we will get as a skeleton of resource controller but when we type this command called php artisan make controller it means we are going to generate a plain controller without any methods so for that inside this stub directory again we will have controller.main.stub so if we click on that this is controller.plain now this is our controller file so let's say that when we open any of the controller what we have generated so far so app http controllers let's say employ controller so here we have a name space now as you can see we have a name space we have two use packages like request and controller so inside this employ controller we have a request so this is what we are getting called eliminate http and request now next we have a class this is our dynamic class name what we will put inside this let's say command panel called employ controller so dynamically it will be replaced by this class based placeholder extends and controller so this is the skeleton of generating a plain controller so in the same way inside this stubs directory we will have several different files let's say for the factory this is the skeleton for our factory file 
this is for the middleware this is for the migration we will get two methods called up and down method next we will have a model so many more files these all are skeleton files what will generate by the help of artisan command so let's say that we want two methods added when we generate any of the controller file so here inside this controller plane stub we need to add those two methods so let's say that here we are adding our first method so this is first method public function let's say method one and inside this if we type simple a comment this is our simple first method now again if i copy this code snippet pasting it here this is our second method and here we will write method 2 this is our simple second method so now this time we have changed the skeleton to generate a plain controller file so let's create a controller and see how it is generated so back to terminal let's say that php artisan make controller and if we type let's say sample controller pressing enter controller created successfully so back to editor reload this type tree structure go inside this app http controllers and here we have a sample controller now as we can see that inside this created controller file here we have a namespace use namespace package here we will have a class syntax now inside this class we have two different methods these are the methods what we have added inside this stub file so from this understanding we can know that stub files are those skeleton files by the help of those we can generate either model job migration factory many more inside laravel application so when we do any changes inside this file it will go and reflect when we create that associated file but it is highly risky when we delete any of the file or let's say change any of the skeleton it will go and generate and whenever we will do any wrong things then might it will be crash our application so keep in mind inside this stuff file you need to change when it is more in priority otherwise avoid stuff customization so when we want to change any of the model file simply go inside this model.stub we need to add our methods variables any of the things inside this class file and simply generate any of the model file we will get inside this model so simply let's say that if i write let's say simple comment this is model.stub it means when we generate any of the model class file then it will be modified so let's say php artisan make model and if we type sample this is the name of eloquent model class model created successfully back to editor reload this directory structure so when we will go inside this database folder sorry inside this app folder models folder here we have sample and as we can see that this is the comment what we have provided inside this model.stuff file so successfully guys inside this video we understood all about stuff customization so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day